it drifts like bad all the time. And when it leans into the corners, it, oh, I just ran into a wall. I'm not very good at driving. What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and I'm back with my buddy Cosmo. How's it going, Cosmo? Hello, welcome to Soviet Mechanic. Soviet, yes, yeah, Soviet Mechanic. But anyways, guys, we've got, uh, I've got this really cool creation. So, uh, Cosmo and I were actually playing MotoGP, which is a, a motorcycle racing yeah. game. And I, we were getting kind of excited because we were playing with all the pro physics and your your bike kind of drifts out in the corners. And of course you lean into all the corners with, with race bikes. And I thought, you know, that's the one thing I haven't really seen in Scrap Mechanic is a, a motorbike that will lean into the corners. And these bikes are kind of cool for two reasons. One, you'll see they have a two wide tire on the front and uh, on the back as well. And the two wide tire does actually have a center pivot point. So it doesn't pivot on an off axis. And That's on top, so cool. Yeah, it's it's a little, little bit fancy controller work, but you can do it. And then, of course, the other cool thing is these bikes, uh, if we go onto the flat ground here, we'll just kind of run down Autobots, here. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. They do I'll stay back a couple of feet. <laughs> so they do have suspension glitch stabilizers, uh, which is why you'll see them lag when they get close together. You can see the two sensors. But the cool thing is when you turn to the right, you'll see the sensors actually adjust so that you'll you'll lean in that direction and then when you turn to the left the sensors adjust again so you'll lean in the other direction which basically means this thing drives like absolute mad and you get some wicked drifts going so these aren't actually max and max engined the uh engine is two below the max point um you can set it one below the max but it will do a lot of wheelies and if you set it right at the max it does just wheelies all the time yo dude let's... going off the jump oh nice <laughs> So you can see there are a few things that make this bike authentic, which I really like. Number one, the obviously the two tires being the same size really suits it. The biggest thing for me is definitely that back sway bar. I love the handlebar section, dude. Like well, the whole yeah, front that... console and the handlebars. Yeah, Cosmo built that, by the way. He, he built the whole front handlebar oh, section. Geez, don't gotta give me credit. Well, I, I set up the pivot method, but then I didn't really know how to do the handlebars, and then Cosmo came along and just kind of had it built before I even noticed. And... <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, like cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy that. You gotta like, go. you gotta keep your balance, man, or else you, if your sensor Gee. goes off the cliff, look at that. Just like, bite in it, the lean in those corners, man. It just bites. Oh, caught a wheelie. Oh, nope. look at that. Look at that go. <laughs> oh god. Wheel it off the cliff. Oh god. Uh -oh. oh god. I'm sorry. Oh god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, they handle really, really well. They do. They are super stable. Obviously, if we, if we increase the engines there, which. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up to you here. Like these would be really cool to race with, aside from the fact that if two people come close, the game ends for so many other people. Yeah, that's true. That's but, kind of unfortunate. Yeah, but it really it's a is. lot of fun. It is. Straight rear wheel drive though is awesome. Oh. Oh, I uh, wheelie, oh. <laughs> I wheelie past you. Oh. No. Crap. Wheelie into me. Right, I realized I'm... I took a wrong turn. Why are you going up more? Yeah, totally. Oh, okay. It's amazing to me how how efficient the suspension glitch is in this game at just yeah, for sure. roll, keeping a vehicle upright. It's a very stable roll, kind of allows you to do cool vehicles like this. Mm. Nice. <laughs> Sweet. Up in a wheelie. All right. Well, uh -oh. I say, oh good. I say we venture down the mountain and then we spawn the version 2.0 drift bike version. Heck okay, yeah, I'm down. Oh, look at that jump. Ice, dude. I saw oh, that. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, goodness. Right into the... Oh, God. The tree. Oh. Uh, into the abyss. <laughs> into the trees. Driving skills. Zero. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I, just, I just see you come flying in. All right. So I'm going to I'm gonna hop off these bikes here. So obviously, this is the sport yes. bike version. You can see there the suspension is actually really, really weird. Or not the suspension, sorry, but the uh, the front fork is actually really weird. So on the lift, it is offset by a block. But what happens is there's a, a double pivot here and a double pivot at the top. So that allows it to center the pivot point where the steering is. And you can see that's basically centered right down the middle. And then it splits back out to two wide. So you get a two wide fork that steers about a one wide point that's directly in the middle, which makes this design actually work. So I actually first started by making a drift bike, and actually the original bike was was even longer than these ones. So 
The, the original bike was actually like three or four blocks longer than these and it, it kind of looked misproportioned with the wheels. So I, I managed to compact it a little bit more and really take off some space at the front forks there. And uh, the drift bike version is pretty much the same except you can see there that back sway bar has been extended. And if you extend that and increase the engine throttle, you get a bike that really can just spin constantly without like it, it just it drifts like bad all the time and when it leans into the corners it oh, I just ran into a wall I'm not very good at driving I've concluded but yeah the drift bike uh, definitely was the first version of the bike mainly because we wanted to get those mad drifts going and with the leaning action the drifting is absolutely hilarious you can still pull wheelies too which is insane but you can just you just slide around like crazy I have no idea where you went again. I'm just, I'm pulling. I was like doing donuts because I couldn't stop drifting, and then I saw you drive off in the distance. Okay, well, I'm uh, at the crossroads by a big tree. Oh, there you are. I see you. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm still <laughs> just drifting like mad. Gotta just. You can see that that back sway bar just going crazy. It's just awesome to look at. On the sports bike, it doesn't really, because obviously the tire kind of bottoms out on the chassis, but. The sports bar back sway bar is really more for the look than the, the function of it. It still does a little bit, but the movement is... I'm sure it does, yeah. It, it does, but you can see it kind of twitching up and down, but the movement is super limited because the tire yeah. bottoms out. Whereas but, on this I mean, one, it, it really, like, you really see the sway bar bounce. It's... Yeah, definitely. I think next I need to do an ATV with realistic sway bar action. What do you think? I think you need to bump up the suspension on this thing and turn it into a dirt bike. Where we're, are we going? We're gonna race straight across the map. Is that a good idea? It doesn't matter what route you take. <laughs> if you come across okay. a mountain or whatever, but you have to hit the far side fence. Okay. When you do that, good. when you do that, yell that you won, okay? On the drift bikes. On the drift bikes. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't okay. know, do you wanna race on the classic ones? I, I, I don't know. I think the drift bikes can be more ridiculous. Yeah, it'll be way more ridiculous. <laughs> and you have, so Cosmo's got the extra long arm on the back mm -hmm. the one on the workshop will be of course mine with the standard arm but uh it's not hard to extend it yourself if you really wanted to no and it is all just hooked up to one motor here in the center so you can just take that one motor drag it back and extend it and yeah the sway bar is nice and customizable same sense if you want to change the fork angle you can do five and six but uh you got to be careful because these sensors here these are actually the sensors that detect the leaning movement three two all one, right go, go. <laughs> Alright, I don't know where Cosmo's you... going for the jump! Nope, Cosmo drifted away from the jump! <laughs> oh man, oh, oh it hits man. a rock! <laughs> Cosmo oh. hits a rock! <laughs> oh man, oh man, trees, 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 drift, dr oh, oh, oh wow. no, oh man, wow. oh, did you see oh, that? Wow. Oh wow, I did see that! <laughs> I kinda, I kinda slid sideways through the air though, that was a problem, gotta get back. Turning, turning, come on, go! Oh, hello. <laughs> Neither of us are going, going in the right in completely direction. completely opposite directions. Yeah. No, no one's going in the right direction here. Oh Hold my on. goodness, I can't stop doing donuts in this thing. Up, up. Come on, give mine it. is super drift. I made it uh, over the mountain. I'm bouncing on one wheel here. Crazy man. I don't even know where you were at. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Just bottomed out the whole chassis. It's no big deal. It's all good. <laughs> you went over the mountain. Well, I went over that little brown hill. I, I, I guess. Oh, okay. It, oh, there you are. Oh no, there he goes. Shoot. <laughs> I got stuck by this mountain. I gotta follow you now. Oh, there you go. There I go. <laughs> Drifting around these trees. Like oh god, I just spun out. No, go, go, drift bike, go. <laughs> it's not a. Go go gadget. <laughs> go go gadget drift bike. Yeah, where's the where's the Crap. thrusters when you need them? <laughs> Seriously. Just put a thruster in the middle of these bikes. I see you. I'm coming up behind you. You see the crazy guy drifting like behind you on this like green bike? That's Oh my goodness. Hold on. <laughs> the problem with it is the back wheel has so much power. Yeah, it's just that <laughs> it, it just it, it goes wherever it feels like and you kinda have to just accept it and try and deal with it as best you can with the steering. Oh I'm coming up behind you. Just, I'm literally just tapping because if you hold it you're you're done. I know, I'm trying to catch up to you, <laughs> but I'm I'm not able to No, he's gonna make it to the wall. The trick is to tap W dude. Yeah, but not nearly as cool. 
Why do you go straight to your destination when you can just go sideways to it? Like, come on. I mean, but anyways, guys, I am going to upload both of these bikes to the workshop. Oh, yeah. oh, oh no. goodness. <laughs> I am going to upload them both to the workshop. Obviously, download them. Um, you can customize them pretty pretty easily. I mean, the front bar and the back bar. Just be careful about those two front sensors because you do need them to activate that leaning corner. Absolutely amazing, man. Seriously, I think it's one of the best motorcycles in the scrap mechanic. Like, just a All lot of All the other fun. ones just look kind of bulky and... Yeah, I was really, I was really trying to make sure this one stayed really tight to the frame. Like, I didn't want to mm -hmm. extend it past four wide and ruin the look of like the two wide tire and stuff. So for sure. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. That helps the channel out oh so much. Uh, go check out Cosmo as well. I'm gonna put his channel down in the link, the channel in the description below. And as Thank always, you, and as always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all next time.